Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord, have your way in me. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul. I'll live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord, have your way in me. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, have your way in me. Have your way in me, Father. Father, give us a passion and a hunger that only you can give to desire more of you. Because in our flesh, we can only desire so much. We can only get hungry so much for you. But I pray that you would birth in us a hunger like never before. That will desire for you more than the food that we eat. More than the material things that we desire. Lord, I pray that you will stir the, stir the waters of our heart a passion like never before a zeal for you give you all the glory, honor, power, and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen, Father. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, right. Um, let's dive right in. Um, today, we have a very special person who's going to share the God's word. Uh, he is uh, single, in demand, Okay. and absolutely very 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 ready to mingle uh, he is the apostle pastor reverend evangelist missionary uh, <laughs> john paul <laughs> wherever you are put your hands together and uh, oh my to goodness. our very own john paul he is our worship leader he is part of the core team member so um, he is an awesome awesome person so over to you john jp aka wonderful ladies take note Hey, everyone take note. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my God, my screen. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Uh, you're able to hear me? My yeah, audio yes. is fine? Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Can you see everything? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you all for joining. Um, it's, uh, it's a privilege to share God's word with all of us together. And this is a very different season. Um, and it's a season for some of us to shave our heads, take out our beard, uh, to sit in God's presence and to enjoy his love and his faithfulness. Um, I think you've been doing all those <clears throat> these days. And so i um, really glad to be uh, sharing the word of God with all of us together. Um, so today we're going to um, discuss and just want to share my heart on this topic as it's called peace um, we know this word uh, so i just want you to um, say if possible i have two questions to ask you so it is okay to unmute your mic and say this if you're shy it's okay what picture comes to your mind when you hear the word peace anybody uh, extreme still uh, any any picture any anything we can imagine like a picture kind of thing yeah yeah jesus coming the storm where he declares peace over the storm 
Yes. So and I see oceans. Yes. That's a really still ocean. Still, still ocean water. makes sense. It doesn't make sense, <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. Yeah. For, me, for me, there's peace right behind me, if you can see it. Oh, come, come on. Come on, Michael. <laughs> That's virtual, Michael. <laughs> virtual peace, yeah. Virtual peace. A- anybody else? Yeah. Like one or two more? Uh, John sorry? 15, 27. 15, 27. Like, I'm setting the word. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that okay. comes to my mind when I think about peace. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so we all have a picture of uh, being still and, uh, you know, one state of rest. Um, okay. Second question. How do you define f- peace according to your definition? Mm-hmm. What is peace according to you? It can be the same as we listen from the sermons or you have heard so far or whatever it is, but how do you define peace? Anybody who has not answered yet? (laughs) I can try. It's a state of rest. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's a state of rest. Uh, So I have just put together two, three sentences. It's a state of rest, irrespective of circumstances. It is a freedom from oppressive thoughts or emotions. A state of being calm or quiet. So irrespective of the circumstances, irrespective of what is going through um, our minds or emotions or thoughts, thus a state of rest or calmness or quietness that we obtain, that we can call it as peace. Um, so Bible, uh, we know this word um, shalom. We, we know this word, we have, everyone has heard about this word. So the word shalom is used uh, as the root word of peace in many um, occurrences in the Bible. And it means it's, it's a complete package it's a huge gift package consisting of peace, wholeness, healing, salvation, prosperity, harmony, everything together. So when God says, I'm giving you peace, it means God says all of this together. That's the beauty of it. So John 14, 27, uh, we read it like this. Peace, I live with you. Jesus is telling this. Peace, I live with you. My peace, I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Now, there are a couple of things in this portion. So John 14, 15, 16 is one um, portion of the scripture when Jesus is talking out his heart to his people. Uh, You know, uh, there's a few moments before he's going to get crucified and he's pouring out his heart and he's telling what are the things going to happen, um, his second coming, his Holy Spirit, everything he is sharing. And he is telling this one beautiful verse in between. He says, peace, I live with you. My peace, I give you. I do not give as the world gives. So that means world can give us peace. But it is different from how Jesus is giving us. And God and Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. That means we have some kind of control to let the peace operate in us, right? Do not let your hearts be troubled. We can let our hearts be troubled. We can let the emotions overrule us. But Jesus says, I am giving my peace to you. You do not let your hearts be troubled, all right? So let's try to see how uh, the scripture defines peace and um, how it is important for us to um, obtain and how can we obtain peace. Bible shows us three perspectives. Uh, I want all of you to please remember this, um, just the three things. One, peace with God. Second thing, peace with people. Third thing, peace within us. Peace with God, peace with people, peace within us. Okay, what does it mean when we say peace with God? So when God created man in his own image, Man was with God, together with him. Every time he was speaking to him, God was speaking to him. They used to have a huge, close relationship. But something came in between which separated God and man. What is that? Sin. When sin came, it separated God and man. And and God wanted to bring back that relationship. God wanted to do it. So what did he do? He sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross to get man closer to him. So this is what we call as peace with God. Let me show you two scriptures. 
Romans 5 verse 1 says, Since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. So when we were away from God, we were not part of his kingdom, we were sinners, you know, when we had a lot of things between us and God, God himself came to each one of us and he established that peace with us. And we see this portion, then God uh, found that there is sin which is inhibiting man to come closer to God. So God, he came as a human being, as, a, as Jesus, and he established the relationship back to back to him. You know, this, the peace with God, we always call it as reconciliation with God. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13, we say, but now in Christ, you who once were far away have been brought near through, G, through the blood of Jesus Christ. He himself is our peace who has made the two one and has destroyed the barrier. So everything which was against us, everything which caused the hindrances for us to reach God, he took it away. So he finished at the cross. We need to remember this. So every time in our lives, when we feel there is something I'm not worthy enough to come before his presence, there is something which is hindering me, we need to remember that God has finished it. Jesus has finished it at the cross. He finished it at the cross and he said, come, I'm making that peace with you. So just think about a few things. What are the things that makes us alienated from God? Sometimes it could be some um, bad thoughts could be something related to a family, some relationships, you know, which, which really hurts us. You know, I don't think I can approach God with this. I have this bad habit. You know what? Bible says very clearly at the cross, he finished the work. If sin is hurting you, if sin is something which is hindering you and God, believe and acknowledge that Jesus has finished it at the cross and we have peace with God. So what does peace with God offer us? It offers us free access to the Father. Free access. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to do anything. Just go. And we read in Hebrews, come boldly to the throne of grace. Come. He is inviting each one of us. We have peace with God. And Romans 8, 16, we read it uh, like this. We have confidence to call him Father because he made peace. We can call him Father, the God who created the heavens and the earth. He has given us that confidence to call him father. Let me try to give one more example. Um, I want to pick someone. Uh, let me pick Sushil. You know, you all know Sushil. Okay. Imagine me, just imagine me and Sushil are very close friends. Okay. And we are very close friends and, um, you know, we share life, we share everything together. And at one point of time, I mess up. I do something which he gets really upset with and um, I'm not confident enough to go to him and just t talk to him as before. But now Sushil decides, you know, that's okay. I want to forgive him. So he takes initiative and he calls me and he forgives everything which I have done and he gets me back to that relationship. Imagine that situation. And if a human being can do like that, Imagine how much more God of the heavens is doing that for each one of us. So he made peace with us. So we have peace with God. First point, peace with God. The second one, peace with people. What does that mean? So God has called us to be in this beautiful relationship. Matthew chapter 5 verse 9, we read, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called as sons of God. He has called us to be peacemakers. You know, every situation that we face, um, Matt Redman says in his book, The Unquenchable Worshipper, every situation in our life, we can take it in two ways. Either we can be bitter about it or we can be content about it. You know, if we are bitter about any circumstances that we face in life from our colleagues, from our friends, from our relatives, we might speak words which hurt people. And if you are content, we will use the word which encourage people. In First Thessalonians chapter five, verse thirteen, we say, uh, Bible says, "Live in peace with each other." 
so remember god made peace with us and he brought us to that relationship now it is our duty our responsibility to live out that peace with the people around us right so peace with people now the third point i want to share is this is the most beautiful point i love this peace within us what does this mean you know this is a season that we get very anxious about things and very frustrated about things around us um if you are working from home then i think your major time will go on working so that's fine but if you are not working from home and uh, you are not able to do anything then these kind of thoughts can hurt us really bad and uh, you know it can irritate us make us frustrate i uh, just want to show you two words which really helps us which really helped me uh, in this journey philippians chapter 4 verse 7 and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus the word used here is guard what what does a security guard do what does a soldier do let's think of a soldier of a nation what is his duty his duty is to not let any other people any other terrorist or any other foreign nationals without permission to enter the nation so they stay very vigilant at the borders so the bible says the peace of god it will act as a soldier and it can act as a soldier to help us and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds any time a thought or any uh, problem or a situation which can cause us some some irritation some frustration bible says the peace of god can guard our hearts so it acts as a soldier colossians 3:15 let the peace of god rule in your heart since as members of one body where you were called to peace so the second word used here is rule the root word used here means as a referee in a game so the peace of god is an indication whether we are going in the right direction and it covers us the peace of god covers us to help us to understand whether i'm doing it right whether i'm doing it wrong whether i need to take that decision or this decision the peace of god rules our heart does that make sense i think yes uh, <laughs> all right so why is it important um this is our identity god has called us to be peacemakers and god has called us to be uh to be a part of his peace and when we look around us there are people who are desperate desperately looking for peace and god expects us to be in that relationship i just want to recollect the three points which we shared one peace with god he himself came and he made peace with us second point peace with people we are called to be in that relationship with god that we live out that peace to the people around us the third point which we said was peace within us that may the peace of the lord guard our hearts and rule in our hearts I just want to close with this one verse isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 you will keep can you all read this with me it's, if your mic can be muted that's fine let's please read this with me you will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you amen this is one beautiful promise that god has god is giving each one of us that he has taken the authority he has taken the uh that position to give us that perfect peace in the midst of confusions in the midst of anxiety god himself comes forth and he says i am giving you the perfect peace that no world can match world can temporarily satisfy your emotions but the peace of the lord comes to our heart it guards our minds our emotions our heart our soul our spirit everything is covered All right i just want to close uh can we all close our eyes for a moment maybe um just take maybe 20 seconds 25 seconds just to think of anything which hinders our hearts and minds to receive the peace from god sometimes we get so upset about the things which is happening around us but this evening tonight god is telling us i am ready to give you peace so maybe take another 10 20 seconds 30 seconds just to think what is hindering me to receive god's peace and after that take another 30 seconds to receive tell god god i need you i need your peace to come rule and reign in my all in my life can we do that
Father, we come before your presence. We thank you for your word is so clear that you give us perfect peace. Right now, even as we gather before your presence from different part of the city and different part of the nation, Lord, we pray right now that you fill each of our hearts with your peace. In Jesus' name, I command every single thought, every single imagination, every single argument, every single reasoning that is standing against the wisdom and knowledge of God to receive the peace of God. I command it to leave right now. And I declare your peace over each one of us. Lord, I pray that you release visions. You release visions of peace right now to your people. And I declare your peace to rule and reign, to guard our hearts and minds right now. In the midst of confusions, I command peace. I command shalom. Thank you, Lord, that you finished at the cross and we receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful moment you have given us. We love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Uh, hey, uh, thanks, JP. Um, I just I think it's such a beautiful word, timely. Um, there's so many scriptures that we can keep thinking on. Um, I'm reminded of number six, the, towards the end of the chapter, where Aaron's blessing, he blesses the, the whole nation of Israel. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. And like you said, peace is just like a complete package. And uh, um, the Bible says he is the, Jesus is the prince of peace. Um, and I can think in another verse in Romans, I think it says, uh, the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath his feet. Right. Um, so he is peace, and I think that's so awesome. Um, thank you, JP, for sharing that once again. Uh, um, so, guys, if this is your first time you've joined us for the first time, uh, this is the fourth time we've been meeting in the last four weeks, and uh, we've done a short study on wisdom and how, in a time like this, uh, everybody in the world, not just the leaders or running the country. Uh, need wisdom. I think everybody needs wisdom in terms of which forward to send, which forward not to send. And uh, and then the second week we looked at uh, hope um, as you know how the world looks at hope as a wishful thinking. You know, I wish it. I hope it doesn't rain. I hope it rains and stuff like that. But uh, in every country in this world right now is looking for that hope. Uh, you know, they are hoping for this dark season to pass by. Right, but uh, the Bible says the biblical hope is a joyful anticipation of what is good. Uh, our hope in Jesus is rock solid, right? And it's not like I hope Jesus come back, comes back one day. No, it's not like that. We know for sure that He's coming back. Um, so that's the hope we carry, and that's what we discuss the second uh, week and the third week. Uh, last week, Sam shared on intimacy, and you know, in the times like this, how important it is to build. That, and to have that intimate relationship uh, with Jesus. And, uh, and it seems like everything is going peacefully so far <laughs> in order, but uh, it's awesome. Hey, I want to do just one more thing. Um, you know, there are like at least 54 of us um, here, but I just want to take time to, uh, if you have any prayer requests, right? Uh, we just want to take time to pray for each one of us uh, because I just, uh, this is this beautiful sense of community and fellowship here because uh, I feel, I don't know about you, but I think I've taken for granted the times that we meet every Sunday and, uh, you know, and, and I don't know about you. I miss seeing each one of you all, <laughs> you know, uh, just being able to, like Sam says, give a high five or a shake hand. Um, I really miss that. So um, in, in the chat section, right, if, there's, if you have any prayers uh, requests, uh, we're going to wait. I uh, just type in your prayer request um, and we're going to pray, okay? Um, but if you're getting late and if you have to go and um, have your dinner, whatever it is, feel free to go. But um, yeah, 
just uh, feel free to type in your prayer request in the chat section if you have any and uh, we'll close with that. Yeah, give it like a 30 seconds or so. <laughs> or if you just want to say if you have any prayer requests instead of typing, that also is fine. It looks like everybody's life is peaceful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have one request. All right, two. All right. Okay, uh, keep your prayer requests coming in, and we'll take time to pray. Uh, I just want to. Uh, it, I'm going to ask random people to pray for a person that you might not know, but it's okay, and you can still pray for that person. All right. Um, Hey, uh, Sanjana, can you pray for Nikita? She's been down with flu. Um, can you pray for a speedy recovery? Uh, Father God, Lord, at this time, Lord, we just commit uh, Nikki into your hands, Master mm -hmm. God. Lord, we pray, Lord, that at this very moment, Master God, Lord, that your healing power would flow through her, Master God. Lord, we pray, Lord, for complete recovery, Lord, from all the symptoms, Master God. And Lord, we pray, Lord, from uh, tonight, Master God, that you will not have any fever or any other symptoms, Master God. Lord, we're believing and trusting in you, Master God, and what you did on the cross for her. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Um, okay. Hey, uh, Alicia, can you pray for Spurthy's grandmother? Uh, she's been having the same problem with her eyes and she's not able to see very well. So can you go ahead and pray for her, please? Thank you, Father. Lord, right now, Lord, we come to us, both these grandmother into your holy hands, oh, Father God. Lord, your word says, Lord, you are Jehovah Rapha, Father God. Lord, your word says, oh, Father God, that you have finished it on the cross, oh, Father God, that you have given, Lord Jesus, healing of 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 all sicknesses of oh, Father God. So right now, Lord, we come and speak these grandma into your holy hands, Lord. And together, Lord Jesus, we declare sight to her eyes, oh Father God. Amen. We just declare healing over her eyes, oh Father God. Lord, that she will be able to see, oh Father God. Amen. Lord, even as you heal the blind, oh Father God, you raise the dead, oh Father God. The lame walked, oh Father God. Even so, Lord, we want to see it today, oh Father, because Amen. you are the same God yesterday, today, and forever, Father. Amen. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for this miracle you are do you have done, Master. Thank you, In Jesus' Father. name, I pray. Amen. 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 Um, someone with real me too. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. His name is not displaying, but uh, uh, I'll pray for you. This person has been getting disturbing dreams. Um, it's been affecting them. Um, so let's just pray for this person. I don't know who this person is. The display name says "Real Me Too." So. Uh, Okay. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Redeemer. All right. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Redeemer. Let me just pray for you. Okay. Father, we, uh, we stand in the gap. We intercede for Redeemer right now. Uh, Lord, we lift her up to you, Father. Um, Jesus, as a family, Lord, we, as a body of Christ, we lift up our sister up to you, Father. Lord, uh, whatever this dreams, Father, that's been affecting her and negatively lord we we cancel it in the name of jesus we break it uh, lord i pray that uh, every weapon formed against her will not prosper i pray that every chain will be broken in the name of jesus we plead the blood of the lamb from the crown of her uh, head to the soles of her feet i thank you lord i thank you for the victory that you've already provided we praise you in jesus name amen amen um hey manny can you pray for jerusha isaac uh, her mom's not been keeping well uh, she's been down with fever can you pray okay. for her please Sure. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we just come into your presence right now, God, and I thank you for this time that you've thank given you, us, Father. Father. God, I thank you for the gift of intercession, Father, to be coming together and to be able to lift people up to your holy word and throne, Father. Amen. God, right now, we just pray for Jerusha's mom, God. We just pray right now for your peace to flood her heart, Father. For your peace to flood her body, Father. That you will touch every part of her body from the head 
to the toe, Jesus, that you, Holy Spirit, will just completely touch every cell in her body, Father. Whatever it is that is entering her body, Father, whatever it is that is trying to cause the sickness, it has no place over your children, Father. So we stand in the gap right now, Jesus, and we Thank say you, that by the blood of Jesus, she will be completely healed, God. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We just declare Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, to be her strength and portion, Holy Spirit, just Amen. from the head to the toe, Father. We just ask your healing to flow through her right now. I ask for removal of all fear in the family. I ask for removal of all stress. And I just ask for immediate healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Hey, um, Carol, can you pray for Rachel? Uh, she's been having um, a lot of um, oppressive thoughts once again. Like, it's been disturbing her. So can you... Could you, uh, could you pray for her, please? And uh, Hey, guys, uh, I just want to encourage you all, wherever you are, uh, just, uh, you know, agree with us. Um, you know, let's, let's agree for one another let's, uh, as, we, as we pray, okay? Carol, if you... Father God, we come before your throne. I thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for Rachel, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you are the God of peace, Lord Jesus. I declare peace over her life, Lord Jesus. Uh, you take control of her thoughts and everything that goes on in her mind, Lord Jesus. Uh, I pray for your thoughts and your peaceful thoughts in her mind, Lord Jesus. I, I pray against every uh, scheme of the evil one in her life, Lord Jesus, that it would not control her, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. I pray that you will guard her mind, you will guard her thoughts, Lord Jesus. Uh, I pray that uh, she would just uh, have faith and receive from you, Lord Jesus, and she would know that uh, she that you are the one in control of her life, Lord Jesus. Uh, I declare and I uh, pray that right from right this moment, all these oppressing uh, thoughts would just yes, leave Father. her mind, would leave her body, would leave her surroundings right now, Lord Jesus. I yes, declare Lord. that it would just be broken and destroyed destroyed right now in your Amen. name lord jesus uh, i declare freedom uh, in her life over her life over her thoughts over her mind lord jesus over her heart lord jesus i declare your freedom freedom that comes from you freedom that comes uh, from the cross lord jesus i yes, just declare jesus. it over Thank her you. life lord jesus i believe in your uh, healing power heal her mind lord jesus heal her right now lord jesus and i pray that uh, she would go in peace and just lay down in peace lord jesus and know that uh, you are there guiding her and guarding her thoughts lord Thank jesus you, there's nothing that's impossible uh, with you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Father. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Um, hey, uh, Caroline, uh, pray for Angela's uh, friend, Andrea, in Germany. She's going through labor at the moment. Um, so just pray for strength uh, right now. Caroline? Yes, Roshan? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you pray for Angela's friend, Andrea, who is in Germany at the moment? Uh, she is going through labor. Um, can you pray for strength? Sure, 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 sure. Father God, Lord, we come before your throne of grace. We humble ourselves, oh, Father. Lord, right now we unite our hearts uh, and pray for Angela's friend, Andrea, who is, Lord, in her labor stage. Father, we pray that you would protect her. God, give her your strength oh god lord i pray that lord she will not face any pain or you know lord i pray your strength would be you know your grace would be sufficient for her lord protect her father we plead the blood of the lamb all over herself from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet oh god protect her and put a hedge of fire all over her father god we commit ourselves into your hands in jesus name we pray amen, amen, amen. Okay, guys, uh, let's just close in prayer, okay? Um, Father, we thank you uh, once again for everything that you're doing in us, everything that you're doing through us. Um, Lord, I pray that, that the peace of heaven will invade our hearts, Jesus. That the peace of Jesus, the joy of Jesus will overflow our hearts. Let our cups overflow, I pray. Uh, for every single person, uh, Lord, here, I pray for all the needs, uh, spoken needs or unspoken needs, Lord. I pray that you would... Um, you would meet them, Father, at, at the point of their need, Jesus. I pray that those seeking for breakthrough, that you will bring it to them, Father. We thank you, everything, for uh, 
for everything that you're doing in our lives, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Hey, thanks guys. Thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, we have a Robert joining us all the way from Uganda. Hey. Robert, yeah, Robert. It's awesome to have you, man. Hi, Robbie. Robert, <laughs> Robert used to uh, worship with us in APC North. Uh, he also used to be part of the core team. Um, so it's awesome to have you back, man. Good to see you. <laughs> Nice to see you guys here, man. <laughs> awesome, guys. Everybody else, uh, you are free to leave the meeting. Thank you all once again for uh, you know joining. You see uh, the screenshot. Yeah. Yeah, I think one of you left. Yeah. Let me smile. Okay. Smile. Put your video on, guys. Abigail, Nidima, put your. Give one pose, guys. Come on. <laughs> Steve, Daryl, Joanna. Let's go. Switch on your video. Okay, smile. Hey, Richie, see you. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. See you all. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Hey. See you guys. Bye. Good night. Bye, guys. Huh? Yeah. Please. Please, don't do that. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> yeah, okay. So she let it out. No, not yet. Wait. <laughs> wait. Done, done. Done, done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? Robert, Robert left?